Hey, Schooly Scouts. Do you struggle to maintain your glorious good looks while living on the road? Well, I'm going to show you a few USB products that could really help you out with that. If they work as advertised. And they make great gifts, too. Well, two out of three do. She likes the wind blowing through her hair Wherever she goes, people stop and stare at her She don't care some nomads give up the beauty routine when they hit the road because for them those rituals pull them back to their old life you know it's full of things that you must do and you should do how you have to look at work things you do to attract a partner all that kind of stuff pulls them away from a life of freedom and i get that but my view is a little different because i'm somebody who really struggles at times with self-care and i'm not talking about like meditation and many petties i'm talking about the basics like, there are periods of time when it's tough for me to brush my teeth. Just being honest here, or do my laundry, you know? And I I'm, not, I'm not proud of that, believe me. That's a source of shame for me. So for me, embarking on a life where I have less access to like hot water, for example, it's very important to me to find ways to maintain on the road. You know, as I get older, I have way less vanity, and less vanity is a great thing, but at the same time, I mean, sometimes I feel like I could like live in the same stained dress, let my hair turn to strings, my skin turn to leather. I don't want to do that because it's not going to make me feel good, you know? So I try to keep it simple and realistic. And in doing that, USB has become my friend. And I really got to hand it to my sister, Leslie. She is on the cutting edge when it comes to beauty products. She's the one who turned me on to the fact that USB rechargeable products like this even exist. I had no clue. And that's important because the AC versions use a lot of power and I'm on solar, so USB is the way to go. She showed up at my mom's house one day with this thing, right? It kind of looks like hair, hairspray. That's what it looked like to me. Or it looks like one of those things you kind of put in the corner and you hit a button and it sprays like scented, like room deodorizer into the room or something, you know? But it's not, it is a hair curler, an automatic hair curler. Like it just, you'll see. I kept my hair purposely kind of dirty, yes, I did it on purpose, I swear, um, so that I could show you what it looks like when you use this thing to kind of freshen up a little bit in between shampoos. And I know you already know about dry shampoo and baby wipes for your hair, but sometimes you really need a little more style, you know, and that's where a product like this comes in. We're going to give it a try. It says unbound beauty in motion it's made by con air it is not cheap this was like 80 bucks or something but it was a birthday present from my sister thanks leslie it's the first high performance cordless rechargeable auto curler for curls or waves anytime anywhere according to its very long product name on amazon it charges with micro usb and the specs say it's going to stay charged for an hour which means if you only use it for 10 minutes, you should be able to do your hair basically six times before you have to recharge it. Now my experience was that um, it worked fantastic the first time, and then the second time I used it, it just like died pretty much instantly. So I called my sister, the expert, and she asked me if I was using the charging cord that came with it, and I was not, but you know, it's USB, universal, whatever the SB is, but universal is in there, right? So I thought, you could use any USB that uses the same type of cord. But I humored her. I used the one that came with it, which is way too short, by the way, and it held its charge like a champ. So I looked in the manual to see what was special about the cord, and it doesn't look special. I have other cords with the same ratings. So I called Conair, and they had no clue what the difference was. Then I tried to research USB in general and found that it's more complicated than solar, so use the cord that comes with it. I don't know why, just do. This button turns the power on and sets the mode. This button chooses the mode. And this button is the one that makes the magic whirly gig happen. It takes a little getting used to putting your hair into this thing. And it looks like there's potential for disaster. Like it actually looks like it's capable of tearing the hair out of your head. I'll be honest with you, I did have a problem with it one time. But if you read the directions, it's actually very gentle. You just have to do it right. Just do it right, that's all. It didn't pull out any of my hair, but there was a point where I thought it was going to. And the only way to get your hair out if it gets stuck is to reverse it, which you have to do manually. Like just turn it and unwind your hair. 
right? You have to reverse it and hope you get it out. And luckily I got it out. You, the point is to not panic if your hair gets stuck. Because if you panic, that's when you're going to pull out all your hair. You put a piece of hair in there and you push the button and hold it. And it goes rah, 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 and curls your hair. And then you just hold the button in that whole time until you hear a double beep, which is going to be 12 seconds. You can play with this thing to give you tight Shirley Temple style curls or looser curls or wide waves. On the controls, you can choose whether your curls go to the left or to the right, um, or whether you mix it up. You can adjust the temperature, but it's you, how you use it that really makes a difference. If you put just the end of your hair in there to be curled, you're gonna get more of a wave. If you go all the way up to the top, you're gonna get a tighter curl. So I would suggest that you just try to be Try not to go overboard with it. Actually, I really dig this. I'm, I've used it a lot since I got it. And once I got this, I started looking for other USB products and that's when I got this hair straightener. Uh, this one charges with USB-C. Unfortunately, maybe it's my hair type, just basically just didn't work. And then it just wouldn't even stay on. This is kind of a cheap one though. There's more expensive ones there, including one made by Conair and they might be better. This is not a hair care product. It's just a little electric razor. And the ones I've had before have used AA batteries and they that gets old fast because you gotta the batteries don't last that long and you have to have them around this is USB and the battery lasts a long time I'm not gonna demonstrate it but you can use this little shaver any place you would use a little shaver I was going to demonstrate a USB rechargeable blow dryer but it turns out they don't really exist it looks like they do but the ones that I found it's weird, like they say they're USB, but then they say they're rechargeable by 110. And what makes them USB is that there's a USB port on it, so you can charge your phone with it. And the thing is, everything has a USB port nowadays. That's just not a big deal, and it's certainly not worth this price. So I'm good with my little whirly gig hair twirler thingy. I love this. I love the shaver. Not nuts about the straightener, but I'm good with the rest of it. Uh, if, I hope this intel was helpful for you, and if not, there's plenty of other videos you can watch. This one's a little more active, so give that one a look.